Hey everybody, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Tammy Talks here. Let's talk Married at First Sight Season 15, Episode 7. We are in San Diego, Real Life Reckoning. For those of you that are brand new to my channel, I do breakdowns of various TV shows, both scripted and reality, interjecting my own thoughts, opinions, and theories into each and every recap. So if you enjoy that type of content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're about 500 subscribers from 6,000. So, I would like to be there by the end of the month. I mean, that's up to y'all. That's how y'all feel about it. But, um, do me a favor. If you have been watching my videos, but you are not subscribed, because I look at the analytics, and there are a lot of y'all that are watching the videos, I super de duper appreciate it. Go ahead, hit subscribe. Stop typing in Tammy Talks every week, and then, you know, save yourself the trouble. I hope y'all didn't think we weren't doing recaps this week. I was out last night. And while I wanted to stay up and do the videos, my body was like, you do work in the morning. So, <laughs> it wasn't going to work. But let's go ahead and get into it right now. I moved the mic closer for the commenter that said the mic was still too far. I mean, at this point, y'all going to have to turn up your speakers. Because I'm not going to, I don't want to be like this into the, the mic. And now I'm busting out everybody else's eardrum. All right? <laughs> So, let me know if this is better. The mic is closer. I'm sitting up higher. We're going to try it out. So, let's start with Alexis and Justin. So, Justin, they're on the plane. You know how they do like the little, um, the little selfie, whatever, when they're recording on their phone. Justin said he's ready to get back to the real life and back to his animals, okay? And when he said animals, I said you got more than one? Because I thought he just had the dog. But we soon find out that he has a cat as well. Too many animals are going to be in that house. We don't need two dogs and a cat. This is getting like that one season where everybody had a damn dog. It's too many animals. So Alexis asked Justin if he has any concerns about them living together. Um, she thinks that their dogs are going to be besties because they're already besties. And Justin does point out that his dog, Maya, it might take her some time to come around to Alexis's dog, Newton. Now, Alexis, sweetheart, that should have been your first inkling that something might not be on the up and up with Maya. Because it was it's not only the fact that, yeah, some dogs, you know, dogs have to get used to new people, whatever, whatever. But it was the way that he said it with an air of caution. As if he wasn't sure himself how long it would take Maya to get used to and be cool with your dog. So, all right, let's, let's, we're going to keep that right here. Keep it in the tuck because that should have been something that Alexis paid attention to. So, we go see Alexis's house. Um, and she legit has a mold of her vagina. The way that they mentioned it on, um, during like their, their vows, the, which, this is what her family wants you to know. During that type of thing. So, she has a mold of it. And I said, oh, it's just sitting out in the open, huh? So then um, she wants him to brace herself before going into his closet. Um, she has, I mean, she has clothes. It didn't look like a, like, overly crazy amount of clothing. He said that it was overwhelming to him because it was unorganized. Looked like she just threw the shit in there. I said, well, <laughs> hey, um... He kept calling her dog, Mr. Newton, a dog. And she got mad and was like, so this is what's going to keep us from like, you know, whatevering. Because you keep calling him a dog. And he was like, what, what, what do you want me to call him? And she said, my child. Lex is going somewhere with that bullshit. We get over to Justin's house. And Justin lives in the closet. Um, and Alexis was kind of shady about that. Um, and she was like, so we're in the kitchen, the, the living room, and the bedroom all together. He has a studio apartment, but he had a really nice sized balcony. He says, so what he does when he has company over is they all go hang out on the, on the terrace, if you will. They all go hang out on the terrace and play games and stuff like that. He also lives on the, on the flight path. So, like, every three or so minutes... And that could be an exaggeration on his part, but he said about every three or so minutes that a plane will fly over. 
And she was like, so do people complain about that? And he was like, no. <laughs> Which basically means he's cool with it, so you're going to be cool with it if y'all get together. Alexis pointed out that if they were to um, stay married, this is not a place that she could live. And I mean, I don't blame her. Y'all wouldn't be living there anyways. Why wouldn't y'all move into your apartment, Alexis? Let's use both sides of our brains today, sweetheart. Let's use both of them, okay? Get on running because why would y'all move into his little studio <clears throat> when you have a traditional one-bedroom apartment? Maybe bigger. Let's let's think here. Let's think. So they get to their new place, um, and they have the dogs. The dogs are meeting each other, and immediately Maya, um, Justin's dog, got an attitude. Okay, now dogs don't necessarily always get along with each other right away your dog can be super de duper nice but if your dog don't want to rock and roll with another dog they not gonna rock and roll with them now what bothered me in this scene is that um and i don't think this falls solely on justin because alexis wasn't paying attention either so alexis has her dog newton just you know walking around getting used to the space while justin is holding maya Immediately, Maya's growling and snarling and ah, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is going to be an issue. Now, I don't know what I noticed sitting at home, but y'all didn't notice and y'all are there. So, they're talking about something else, like not even paying attention. And next thing you know, you see Newton just kind of walking by and Maya, Justin's dog, like lunches at her and or lunches at him bites him he's screaming he's crying and i'm thinking what is going on so you know justin pulls the dog back she scoops her dog up now her dog done got bit in the eye i said jesus christ this should have been avoided this should have never happened for one you should have brought your dogs in separately, let them get acquainted with the place, let them get their sniffs out, do everything else that they needed to do. Then there are ways that you slowly introduce your dogs to one another. I also kind of sort of somewhat feel like, do we need to introduce our dogs right away the first day? Do we? Why can't we bring one dog in for a couple of days, bring the other dog in for a couple of days, and then see how this goes from there? So, Alexis is panicking, you know, rightfully so. Her dog's eye is bleeding. So, she's on the phone calling um, different areas, different places in the area to find out where she can take her dog to come get looked at like an emergency vet. Justin goes and put his dog in the closet and says, bad dog. So... Alexis wants to go take her dog in. Justin wants to come. She said, please, I cannot. And I'm I, and I'm, I'm with her. Let, let her go take care of her dog, Justin. This ain't the time for you to come in and try to be super save a hoe. Let her go. Let her deal with that. Emotions are high. Tensions are high. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. So, of course, Justin starts crying because now he is stressed at everything that's going on so justin says in the confessional that he underestimated his dog and was too confident and i guess i kind of feel like you didn't underestimate your dog you weren't truthful about your dog you weren't confident about your dog because of the way that you said it initially that yeah it might take maya some time you knew that there was going to be an issue between these two dogs and you should have been upfront with her on top of the fact that we find out later that your dog has been in fights and shit before and you never said anything. So now Alexis feels like not only is Newton not safe in the house, but she's not safe. So she leaves. So we get this scene of Justin driving Maya to um, go to training. And he said it was like, I th did he say five weeks? Was I wrong? Five weeks? So you're about to put your dog away for over half the process? Was your dog not trained before? 
It's a lot of questions. Like, was your dog not trained? What is going on, Justin? Why was this dog, this big-ass dog, not trained in any capacity that now seemingly as an adult, you're putting her in training? Only after she bit this dog, probably only after Alexis is telling you that your dog needs to be in some type of training. You didn't want to put your dog in training before that and your dog has been in fights with other dogs? Come on, Justin. Come on, baby. We got to do better. So, Newton has to wear a cone for a week. He looks disheveled and depressed. So, Pastor Cal is coming over. And... I don't move these notes to the wrong section. Okay, so Pastor Cal is um is coming over, and when Pastor Cal gets there, they immediately talk about the dogs. And Alexis said that there is a miscommunication between the two of them. That's what kind of worries her the most in the marriage. That's what she's you know kind of I don't say on guard about, but that's what that's what has her antennas going right now. So she said that. Justin never told her that Maya was in numerous fights before. You know what Justin said? You know what Justin said? Y'all remember? Justin said it wasn't relevant information since those dogs were in the wrong. All of those dogs were in the wrong. So your dog has been in numerous fights. Your dog is a repeat offender. But it's not your dog's fault. It's all the other dogs. All the other dogs did shit to your baby, right? Justin, stop it. Stop it. How is that not relevant information? I don't care if your dog got jumped. Legitimately jumped by a coyote, by a wolf, by a pack of chihuahuas. That is relevant information because most dogs, like most kids, like most people, when you are attacked, when you're in a fight, when you're in a situation like that, you're going to be a little bit on guard going into situations that could be, you know, similar to that. So the fact that you didn't think to tell her, that's bullshit, Justin. So Justin got a little lying problem. And I feel like that is going to be an issue with them throughout the duration of this marriage. It's going to be an issue with them. So Justin then said that um, he realizes that some, he now realized that sometimes he's vague. And when he's, you know, in these moments when he's talking about these things, he doesn't realize how vague he is. But now that he realizes how vague he is, he's going to try to do something about it. And you know what, Justin, you know what happens next? You know what happens next? Pastor Cal asks a question, a follow-up question to Alexis. That does she think that there is... Um, something at Justin's core that's wrong. Alexis says she really doesn't know. So you know Justin's big ass starts crying again. I'm not going to sit up here and watch Justin cry every week, y'all. Because Justin seems like the type that he does all these things, and I don't think he's a bad person at all, by any means. I do not think Justin is a bad person. But I do think that Justin is a person that the moment somebody does not like what he does, or somebody might show resistance to something that he does, he immediately wants to cry to get sympathy from it. And I get it. He's an empath. I get it. He's a very sensitive person. But you also got to learn how to keep that shit in check too. I am friends with empaths that gets super, super swept up and caught up in everything. My mom is a huge empath, right? So, like, I'm used to dealing with empaths, but you also have to learn how to check that shit in. Because you just ain't crying because she said that, because she's upset about her dog. And, and damn it, she should be. She should be. So... Pastor Cal and Justin, what, what's going on here? Because that's what we all want to know. Why are you crying again? Again. Why are you crying again? Justin said because he feels like a crappy owner. He said he should have paid attention to the first time Maya snapped. Now, here's my thing. That's what I want to get into. So, you saw Maya snap that first time. You saw it. You saw Maya snap. But you didn't say anything or do anything about it. You ignored it? Why? Why did you ignore it? Because how, like, did they show you the footage? Like, I'm, I'm confused about that. So, Pastor Carol tells them 
not to be so rigid with the requirements that you don't allow yourself to make mistakes or you don't allow each other to make mistakes. Alexis wants him to overshare, to tell him everything, even if he thinks it's going to hurt her feelings. Because we see that right now, Justin is very agreeable, right? Justin is in the groove of... He wants to go along to get along. And Alexis doesn't want that. She's picking up on that. She's noticing that. That's not what she wants. She wants you to be your true authentic self and tell what your feelings truly are. So Justin wants another chance with um, with Maya. Okay? Um, I guess they agreed. They talked the night before um, that if there is another situation with Maya, he would give the dog up. He said it would be a hard decision. She said, oh, I thought the decision was made. Now, I didn't like that about Alexis because for you to say that you don't play about your dog and all this other stuff, why do you think he does it? You know what I mean? Why do you think he's just going to be like, oh, well, I'm going to get rid of my dog with, you know, with no question. Maybe, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't like how... And I mean, if his dog is the aggressor, then yes. But I don't like how cavalier she's being about it. Like, well, my dog ain't going to be the one to go. Your dog needs to be the one to go. And you should be able to just get rid of it. Like, I don't like that. And I feel like Alexis is going to do that to Justin, where she's going to continually give him, like, ultimatums that benefit only her and doesn't take into account his feelings or his sacrifices or his anything else. So let me know what you guys thought about um, this episode. I mean, what I, I don't agree with his dog going away for five weeks. That dog thought he was being given away. Maya thought that she was being given away randomly after she hasn't seen her owner for a week. Now she has to go. And like the way that she was crying and stuff. I felt bad for Maya. I felt bad for Newton. But let me know what you guys thought about this episode. And I will catch you guys in the next one.